Hey there, so today we have another review. This is the longly awaited Mountain Dew Hard Seltzer. Uh, they call it Mount, Hard Mountain Dew. Yeah, anyway. So this is only in markets, Florida, Tennessee, and Iowa. I don't know why in those specific markets, but uh, hey, I'm reviewing for you guys. I guess that's one benefit for being in Florida. Uh, I, I think most of the channel does not live in those three states. So um, Mountain Dew is owned by Boston Beer Company. So makers of tr uh, truly hard seltzers. And so they have uh, made this with all the different flavors, including Baja Blast. They got the regular, they've got, sorry, black cherry and strawberry? Uh, black cherry, watermelon. Watermelon. And then Baja okay. Blast, yeah. And 5%, no sugar. What else can I say about this? Um, people have been hyped about it, so. I'm pretty stoked. This one looks like Mountain Dew. I'm a big fan oh, of Baja. Smells like Mountain Dew. Actually, tastes pretty good. Tastes like Diet, diet Mountain Dew. Actually, it like it. Tastes like Mike's Hard Lemonade. What are you talking about? Yeah, but it's diet. Like you don't taste the sugar. Mm. Um, it doesn't taste very Mountain Dewy to me. Kind of, but it's mm -hmm. just. I think it's. The crazy thing, by the way, this is an enjoy buy of. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, this is. You know what? Let's get it. Nobody needs to see the back. This has an enjoy by of seven months or something like that. This was canned in December. It says enjoy by somewhere. Maybe on the bottom of the can. Oh gosh. Yes, maybe on the bottom. Yeah. July 2022. How's that possible? A soda has a seven month shelf life. Like there are IPAs out there that are given amount of, about that amount of time. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's on top. That's by July, and this was canned in. I think it's fresh. Uh, what does it taste like? Tastes like soda. Um, tastes like diet soda. No, but you still taste the alcohol a little bit. A little bit, yeah. So it, it tastes like it tastes like Mike's hard lemonade to me. A little bit. Um, I get a little bit of the kind of just like hard seltzer kind of thing. Yeah. Um, we had those Bud Light ones, which played in the candy realm, a little bit candy like. Um, also plays a little bit like those uh, soda seltzers. It's like the orange orange soda, the Bud Light orange soda, or the Bud Light cola seltzer, or the cherry. So. Yeah, the soda seltzers. Are we this one's um, watermelon. Black cherry, isn't it? Watermelon. Oh, that's so weird that the black cherry and the watermelon colors are like... Oh. Doesn't that seem backwards, though? So that one, you want to go Mike's Hard Lemonade. Despite being a zero sugar, like... That's neither too sweet for Mike's. Yeah, and that's... I actually kind of like that one. That is zero, there's quote-unquote zero sugar in that, but that is very sweet. It tastes... It's weird because I don't like Kool Aid, but it, it tastes a lot like Kool Aid, and I like this yeah. one. Very, if you like sweet? Go there. That one's very sweet. It's like Jolly Rancher sweet. The black cherry, also very sweet. Or Skittles. This one's Skittles. Ooh. Red Skittles all day, like. It's pretty good. That don't taste like Baja Blast to me, but you drink Baja Blast, I don't drink Baja Blast. No, it does. Yeah? I mean... Not, not exactly. For, for like a seltzer version of a Baja, this mm -hmm. tastes like a Baja. I mean a seltzer version. Mm -hmm. So to rank them, I go one... Let's go that way. It's backwards to them then. Oh yeah? Oh, sorry, my bad. Jeez, I'm stupid. One, two, I thought I was doing the right thing. <laughs> These guys suck, who knows? Just imagine living with them. <laughs> Pick your poison. These both suck. Um, one tastes like Jolly Rancher, and the other one tastes like Skittles. Gross. Just absolutely gross. Like, oh. These these eggs actually taste like Diet Soda, which is fine. Like, boozy Diet Soda. Seltzer version. So... That's my pick. How about you? What's your... Personally, I think I... Sorry, my son is playing Fortnite. Um, <laughs> um, I think I like the Baja a little bit more than the Mountain Dew. But I do like these ones. And I think the reason is, is um, 
they they don't taste as boozy, yeah, and I think no. I think that's kind of nice. You know, like I don't know. I haven't really been drinking lately. I don't know. I just haven't been in a mood to to drink, which is great because I've been losing weight. But um, I don't know. I guess these are kind of tied. Yeah. Uh, a couple things before final rating. First off, this is brewed by Green Rebel Brewing Company. So I don't know if that's a subsidiary of what has to be subsidiary. Or... Anyway, yeah, it's either collabed or like subsidiary of Boston Beer Company, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and. Uh, Branningsville, Pennsylvania, collaboration with Boston Beer Company. So I don't know if they own them, or is that just like, what is that? What is Green Rebel, uh, Green Rebel Brewing Company? You should look into that. This does not contain caffeine, by the way, because you're not supposed to be um, FDA, I think. Or... Yeah, you can't combine alcohol and caffeine in one beverage anymore. For logo doesn't have caffeine or is it lowered? I think there's no caffeine. I think there's no caffeine, yeah, no caffeine for yeah, Loco yeah. now because there was so many people that were like Quite having nice. heart attacks and stuff. Yeah, they still, you know, you still mix vodka. Right, right. right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I will say this was on one of those like, um, if you've ever been to a liquor store, one of those like hand truck thingies, like it's two hand trucks flat. It's, it's what they use like move goods at supermarkets and yeah, liquor stores. Well, not the wooden pallet, not the square one. But like anyway, it's it's like a cart. It's like a cart. A dolly. Whatever you call that thing, they had them on, and they were like flying through them. Because when I got through them, I feel like I was on the bottom third, and so they must have been stacked earlier in the week or during the day. And we're only Wednesday, so that probably might be their delivery day. So people are bought, buying this on the shop real fast, which actually sort of reminds me of when I was in Vermont when that's how they were selling Heidi Topper. So just a funny analogy. Um, they didn't. They didn't even have it like on a display. Because what's the point? You just leave it like wide display when it's literally on the thing that people will buy it within hours, right? Like super easy. Um, rating. You want to give a rating? I'll give a rating, and then I'll give a rating. I mean, um, I like these two. I think these two are very similar to the, like on the level of the orange soda for me. The orange soda Bud Light. That yeah, have. That, was, that was a good one. Um, so like I would I would actually regularly stock those three flavors if I could just stock those three flavors. Um, these ones are still good. They're sweet. Um, you know, but it, it, I think they do kind of bring the rating down for me. I wish mm -hmm. I could just rate these separately because I feel like they're just All right. Give a few ratings then. Give a few ratings. Okay. This one, I guess I would give this like a, a B plus. I mean, mm -hmm. this is pretty tasty. Okay. This is crushable summertime yeah. beverage. Cool. Um, it really, really brings, it really, um, touches my inner white trash. So I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and then these ones, I think I would give those maybe like a C plus, like they're still good. Maybe B, B minus. They're still good, but it's just, they are very sweet. Yeah. I don't think I could drink as many of those. I don't think I could drink it up to get buzzed. As I think about it more, I find this one to be the best by far. I would only drink this one, this one minute. And then these, I'd definitely avoid. Um, I still like the Bud Light. Cola pack, the one that has like cola, cherry cola, uh, orange soda, and oh, oh, um, a lemon lime. Like, yeah, yeah, Sprite. Sprite. Yeah, like Sprite. Um, I still prefer that pack. This one's like probably up there with some of the ones in there, but I don't think I like Mountain Dew that much. So yeah, you don't maybe, like maybe I gave too high a rating for the Bud Light Seltzer Soda thingies, 93, but let's give this like an 88. But then as a total package, I don't know. I, I wouldn't buy this package because you get. Six stinkers out of the whole whole bunch, right? Six. I don't know. That's how the math works, right? No, no, no. You get eight. How many are in here? Sixteen. Uh, so, oh no, no, no. Okay. Twelve, twelve. So six, so six, six or six, yeah. six or six stinkers. And also, I don't really like that guy anyway because I don't want to buy a lot. So maybe nine stinkers. Um, total package. Seventy-six. I'm a, I'm a bad oh yeah. That's a total package. Yeah. Seventy-six. Sure. Yeah. That's an arbitrary number. Um, I wouldn't go nuts for it. Uh, especially with these two flavors. Like, I don't, like, I, I, people are familiar with Mountain Dew. People, if you go to Taco Bell, you get Baja Blast. And I don't know where these two guys came from. They don't taste anything like Mountain Dew. They don't taste like they have anything to do with Mountain Dew. Yeah, They're I don't think They're arbitrarily these are very flavors. sweet, which makes no sense. They bumped up the sweetness on these two and to make them taste like candy. Oh. It's like Mountain Dew has a flavor. And this guy's actually not that sweet. This one's probably the driest of the three. I wish they would have done Code Red and like yeah, maybe code like red. code red and white out or sure like whatever that. code red do code red but i mean the yeah i mean i feel like that they should have i feel like these two are great because they 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 really are mountain dew like yeah. these two are weird because they like they don't they aren't mountain dew like these aren't mountain dew flavors at least that i'm aware of no, i mean as a gross, mountain dew connoisseur well, who cares uh, up, so. <laughs> yeah i mean i just wish that they would have stuck with actual mountain dew sodas that you can buy or like, kept them dry 
They're all, I understand all zero sugar, but the perception no, of sweetness. No, no, I wish they would have stuck with sodas. Like, I feel like that would have made sense. If you're making a Mountain Dew mix pack, yeah. why not make them all Mountain Dew flavors? Okay. Or at least make these a soda flavor. Sure. I but they also just suck at flavor. Well, what if they did it and then they also suck? So who knows? Yeah, that's true. But I don't know. I feel like I feel like they should have stuck with with things that are already successful. I just don't know why they taste like they uh, taste like. I feel like definitely need definitely need code red and I would say white out. I, I think white out would have been. Oh, that's there. gross. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, these, don't let these guys warm up too. Had these guys really cold, this one warm up's okay, but it's I wonder if these would be good slushies. They would be great slushies. Until next time, guys. 76 for me. You gave it like something like a B minus C plus. Um, try them out. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Thank you for checking it out. Later.